Okay, Trini, we have another installment of what's the best 12 year old scotch and we have a very interesting and different lineup uh, today. Um, very unique competitors. So let's just see from your perspective, what's the best 12 year old scotch? Best 12 year old scotch. Good. Okay. Well, I'm going to go my, uh, your left, my right. Yep. Nosing round and then a tasting Ooh. round. And then we're going to need to know what's the best 12 year old scotch. It smells a little bit fruity. Okay. And oh, this is even more so. And I'm going to introduce the this competitors. Kind of like a little bit more sherry style. Uh oh, I feel like is the box properly at the front or back? Um, you probably need to lean them towards the front a little bit. Ooh. I would say. Oh, <laughs> just splash it right <laughs> on my nose. Okay, that's fun. Okay. Um, these are. I think you want to push fruity. those forward a little bit so the box doesn't topple. There you go. Okay. Okay, and fruitiness is your theme so that's far. That's kind of the theme so far out of all of them, really. There's not. Mm, I, I gotta do one more nosing round. Yeah. Okay, this has maybe a little bit more peat on the nose than I originally thought. Okay. Do you have a um oh you're still nosing? Okay. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. They're <laughs> different but same same but different. A similar theme to them, like there is a bit of sherryness. There's a bit of peat on a couple of them, but. Mm. Okay. Do you have water for cleansing? I do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to taste this one right here. All right, give it a taste. Mm. That has a bit more of a upfront peat style to it. Okay. Yeah, give it a cleanse. <sighs> On to the next competitor. Mm, this is like really... Nice and sweet kind of, uh, yeah, fruity cherry style. Mm. Actually, a bit of peat on that one, too. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, two fruity peaty cherries. Mm, that's nice and soft, and just that's a crusher right there. Okay. Third one's super crushable. Mmm. That's very good. Do you have I some am, favorites? I'm instantly thinking that's my favorite right really? now. Really? Yeah. Final I'm answer? Second, second round, that's my wow. favorite. Wow. Any predictions? <sighs> no. Uh, no. I, I would say no. I don't. Okay. The best 12-year-old single malt... Well, they're not all single malts, but in this case, it's a single malt scotch. Deanston 12-year-old. Nice. Bourbon cask. Interesting. Ooh, cool. Good work.